You're watching Veg TV. Welcome to Veg TV. Today we have some tasty menu ideas that are as good to eat as they are good for you. Lisa Coffey, author, host of CoffeeTalk.com, is in the kitchen with me today to check out what's new. That's right. Yay. So what are we cooking today? We're making seafood creole with the award-winning Sophie's Kitchen plant-based seafood. Wow, that sounds amazing. I gotta check this out. It's a great alternative if you don't want to eat seafood, if you're vegan, if you're allergic to seafood, if you're worried about what's going on in the ocean, the depleted stocks of seafood. Right. Gluten-free, soy-free. That's right. And it's vegan. So what's right. in it, Marie? What is in this thing? <laughs> Konjac, that's really hot news. They have it in weight loss supplements. It's tasty, it's good for you. They've been using it in Asia for centuries. And when you talk about low calorie, this says there are 50 calories per serving. Yeah. And a serving size is 10 pieces. 10 pieces. It's amazing. Wow. It's amazing. So it's it's good for the planet. It's good for you. It's good for the waistline. And it's really tasty, too. Great texture. Yeah. So let's get started. Okay. I'm going to start making the Creole. I've got my... Um, my electric skillet here set okay. to 300 These degrees. Are great. A tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, you're gonna start with that. Just kind of coat in the bottom of the pan. Just a little bit. I don't like to use a lot of oil. I'm all yeah. about low fat. Yeah. Crushed red pepper. That makes a little spice to it, huh? Yeah, well, I like to use crushed red pepper to perfume the oil, as they say. Mm, There's garlic. three cloves of garlic. Can't never have too much garlic. <laughs> Yeah. I am a big garlic fan. I love garlic, and it's another one of those ingredients that it's not only tasty, it's, it's got tremendous yeah. health benefits. That's a superfood. This is a large shallot, mm. and this shallot is going to add some flavor notes, a little bit a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, but a creaminess, too. Yeah. So next, I would like the celery. Okay. You can't make anything from Louisiana without celery. Green a bell pepper. Crunch, crunch green bell pepper. Look at how colorful this is already. Wait, red bell pepper. Red That'll bell pepper, alrighty. That's a half of each, a half of red bell pepper and a half of a green bell pepper. Okay. Four scallions with the top. Sometimes they're called spring onions. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. So this is just gonna soften it, up a little, the bay leaf. The bay leaf, there you go. I like to put the bay leaf in with, with a little bit of the oil. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to add Sophie's Kitchen plant-based seafood alternative. This is shrimp, but it's not shrimp. It's an eight ounce package. And it's going to taste like shrimp too, I assume. Uh, yeah. 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 And I just thawed it enough. You can thaw it in the refrigerator enough for it to separate or you can run hot water over it. This is great because you can just keep it in the freezer and then use it whenever That's you right. want it, whenever Frozen. you need it. Right. Normally if you're making seafood creole. You're going to put fish fillets or catfish right. or something like that. And I wanted something a little different. These are squid rings, but of course they're not squid rings. like calamari. The nice thing about products like this, especially if you're vegan, it adds texture and variety to your diet. And that's just the thing is, I mean, I can't remember the last time I had calamari. I didn't yeah. even know we had a vegan version of calamari. So I'm just separating them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Smells great. Absolutely. Okay, this looks pretty good right now. It's all softening up. Just, a, what was that, three minutes maybe? Yeah, totally. These are Mexican stewed tomatoes. I'm going to buzz it up just a little bit in my personal blender, just like that. Just poured it right in there. I love my personal blender. It's so cool. I'm going to put it like so and just press it down. Just a little bit, just to break nice. down the tomatoes. Yeah. When you do that, it will thicken. Ah, nice. You know, so like that. Mmm, perfect. Can I have the parsley? Parsley, there you go. You haven't changed the heat on this at all. We're no, on... it's still on 400. Okay. This is cumin. Cumin, love cumin. Cumin's big in Indian food as well. Yes. This is thyme. Oh. I believe there's a teaspoon of each. And a little salt. <laughs> Half teaspoon of sea salt. There the best sea salt because it's unprocessed. That's right. Nutritional yeast. Ah, this is your secret ingredient. I love nutritional yeast. And you know what? You taught me. I use it in everything too. Isn't it the best? It's the best. It adds creaminess. It adds flavor, cheesy notes. 
but it adds B12, protein, lots of B vitamins, in fact, the whole range of B vitamins, and lots of minerals, too. And, and that's what we vegans need. Actually, everybody needs it. Everybody I think everybody's a little deficient yeah. in B12, so that's a great, great tip. So as soon as I put the nutritional yeast in, I'm turning it down to 225 degrees. The nice thing about this seafood, this plant-based seafood, it's just heat and eat. When you pop it into your recipes, you put it in at a point where you just want to brown it up or soften it or heat it through and then add all your spices and all your other mm. wonderful ingredients. And there you have it, seafood creole. Wow.